welcome to day three of Vlogmas, and I swear every uh, morning I feel like my hair just gets more and more <laughs> awesome on these good morning clips. So, um, there you have it. <laughs> um, let's see what we've got going on for today. I think I'm going to go do some Christmas shopping with a friend of mine. We're going to go into one of the neighboring um, communities and have some lunch and do some Christmas shopping. Um, so I think that's going to happen today. Um, I'm really hopeful to finish my Morgan jeans today. Um, and that's pretty much it. I have a doctor's appointment this morning, but you, no one needs to go along with that. <laughs> Just regular old stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's what we have kind of going on for today. So uh, let's get day four started. All right, I spent day four. Go. Oh, not a creature. A doggy. A dog with a chicken leg. Huh? Gosh, Jack, maybe you'll get something to build next time. <laughs> So, um, back from the doctor, um, not the, not the best news that I was hoping for, unfortunately, nothing life threatening or anything like that. Um, but I am going to have to have some further appointments and stuff for a couple, excuse the hair, for a couple of things. And I was hoping that, um, we were on the up and up and that everything was, um, going to be looking up. So anyway, not the best news. So I'm sitting here with the dog on my lap, feeling a little bit sorry for myself, but I'm about ready to pick myself up and move on. Um, like I said, I've got lunch date today with one of my very, very good friends. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. So um, hopefully that one's going to be nice and festive. I'm sure it will be. Um, we'll be going to Zionsville, which is an adorable, has an adorable little um, downtown. They have the cobblestone or the brick streets and stuff uh, in parts of their downtown and a lot of really cute like local shops and that kind of thing. So that should be pretty fun. So we will, um, yeah, that's kind of going on now. And then hopefully I can finish my Morgans later this afternoon, fingers crossed. So, uh, and I think I'm going to pull out my um, new prim pliers. I kind of showed that in oh, one of my videos a while ago. And I have the rivet set that goes with that now. So I have the little pieces that allow me to use that, those pliers for the little um, inset pieces that allow me to use it for the rivets. I'm still waiting on the jean button, so I'll have to do that with just a hammer per normal. But I think um, we can kind of try out the rivets and see how those work. So that's kind of exciting. So I will um, stop right now and touch base here after a little bit. Okay, bye. Okay guys, sorry it's so dark. It is really cloudy and yucky out. But I just wanted to show you how easy, real quick, because I'm getting ready to go head out for lunch and shopping. Um, this is my By Hand London Romana coat. And I think a lot of people maybe were a little standoffish with So My Style this year because it seemed like um, a dressy coat. Sorry. <laughs> seemed a little bit too dressy. But I just wanted to show you how... Um, I mean, it's dramatic, but there is nothing that says it can't be worn just every day. So, um, again, I don't have it, I don't have a cl closure on this. Actually, though, someone suggested a belt, which would be really cute, or um, even like a vintage brooch would be adorable. I have some of my grandmother's, just to like pin that closed and not get my Burberry scarf caught in it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you how easy it was to, um, if you can kind of see, to, to style the Romana and that it can be worn for every day for shopping and lunch um, and all that kind of stuff. So that's all I had. I uh, will check back soon.
Okay, so you got to see, sorry, I've got some uh, trumpet practicing going on in the other room. Um, a Christmas concert's coming up tomorrow uh, for him. So you got to see some of our shopping trip. I had a very successful shopping trip. We had a great lunch, spent some wonderful time together. It was just what just what the soul needed. Um, got four people crossed off my list, which is always a good thing. Um, so now I have about 30 minutes till I need to go make dinner. My kids are home. Um, they're practicing. Well, Jack's practicing his trumpet, and then Ava will hit up her viola here in a little bit. Um, but I thought I might try and at least get my rivets. Um, Know, let's just see how far we can get on these. I've got I'm giving myself 30 minutes. So I was going to show you um, my prime or prime my prim pliers. We're gonna kind of figure this out together. So hold on. Okay, so this is what I was kind of waiting for. So I have the prim pliers. This squeeze that and this little thing comes off and then they're open. So these are like the their loved ones that actually come with um the little pieces that you can do the plastic snaps. Uh, I obviously don't have those in right now. I couldn't find here in the U.S. just the regular purple handled ones. Um, I don't know if I'll use the plastic snaps ever, but I guess maybe if I'm doing baby clothes, um, maybe. But anyway, um, we're going to figure this out. So this is their rivet set. And it comes with this piece here that allows you to put them on just a hammer. Or it also comes with the pieces that go into the pliers for you to use the pliers to set the um, rivets. And I think from what I was reading online that a lot of the Dritz rivets and buttons work with them. Um, but you just need the little insert for the tool. So I ordered prim ones um, in the rivets and also in the buttons. And I'll probably order some snaps too, like heavy duty snaps. Just so I can have the little pieces um, and then we'll see if it works with brands that I can get read readily here in the U.S. So, let's figure this out. So, I've got them open. So, again, it comes with, sorry, make you sick. It comes with, I believe, these are the backs of the rivets. And then these are the fronts. So, I got the coppery ones. This, I think, is a little anvil, or the little um, surface for doing it this way where you put them each in the tool and then hammer them but then it comes with these little guys that actually fit into my pliers so there's one side and then the other side sorry the other side is there so I've got those both in and then it's got directions here that show you how they go in basically and then how to install it and this is in German I believe so we're just gonna kind of follow the I'm gonna do one off camera and then I'll come back and show you how it works <laughs> wish me luck Okay, that took some doing I got the little coin pocket done um, I think just because I was going through so much fabric so they do come, sorry, not meaning to make you ill, but this package does come with this little guy, which is a little eyelet tool that you could actually, that's probably what this is for. So you could hammer this into your fabric to make a hole for the step, for the um, rivet, and then there you go. I am choosing, however, I don't want to cut the fabric. I just want to move it aside. Oh, sorry. Put my hand in front of the camera. So I am using this. It's just an awl to pierce and poke my fabric. So let's see if I can do this without making it. <laughs> my pocket joins. So I'm going to take the awl and I'm going to pierce right in between these two stitching lines all the way through maybe okay. once I've gone through see it left a little hole there so now I'm going to load up my pliers There we go. 
Um, sorry, I need a better camera so badly. Now we have viola music going on in the background. I'm going to throw these away because those I messed up. But you've got on these, you've got that piece that has like the little groove out of the top where the top goes, the little actual rivet. And then the flat side is where the back of the rivet goes. Loaded on that side, that was the side that had the little groove out of it. And the stud on that side. So now I'm going to put the stud through the hole and because you have to kind of scrunch the jeans up into to fit into this little area. Um, so we'll see if we can get that to work. Hold on. It's harder to show you. I really had to scrunch these up. In fact, I'm almost wondering if it would be better to install the hardware before like attaching the waistband. Um, so you don't have to scrunch all this waistband up to get the rivets in. I mean, I'm getting it done, but it, I'm really having to squish it in there. Um, I think these will be brilliant for the button. Um, actually, for all of these buttons that I have to put in. I may even... Oh, I may wait on that. Um, maybe not, though. I'm kind of impatient. <laughs> so anyway, I've got those two in, and it was just a matter of squeezing. And so that does make it much easier than having to hammer away at things. And I think they look a little nicer. Um, so now I'm going to put one on the other side at the pocket, and then I think I may put some in the outside back pockets. That is my chalk marking there, and it needs to be cleaned off. So, I will show you when I'm finished. Okay, so rivets are on. This is not the easiest thing in the world. I think these prem pliers are going to be amazing with snaps and with jean buttons, however, because you don't have to... I was having... The only issue I had was getting all of this fabric to get in here so that I could squeeze them shut. So I think if you have just a little distance, say that far, for instance, to do a jean button, it's going to be super easy and be uh, definitely worth the price, but are definitely worth the tool. So yeah, I did get them on though. Got my rivets on there. And then on the back pocket and the other back pocket. So now we just need buttons, belt loops, and a hem. Okay, so I've got hardware on except for the buttons. Um, and I might, I think my prem buttons are coming this week. So I may just wait on those and use the prem buttons um, just so we can explore maybe a little better. But I do have my button loops attached, or button loops, belt loops attached, and now all I need is to wait and install my uh, buttons. I do need a buttonhole for the top here, but I'm going to wait until I actually have the buttons in hand, and then I still need to decide where I'm going to hem these babies. So anyway, I may put these aside um, until those buttons come, so um, I may get started on my Kelly rack maybe tomorrow. So there we go. Okay, so I've got dinner in the oven. I, um, we've got to do some homework here um, after a little bit, and then it's showers and early-ish bed for everyone. It's a very dreary evening. I'm looking out at a very, very gray sky. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to get snow or what. Um, but anyway, that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed following me around today, and um, I will see you all tomorrow. Merry Vlogmas 4. Bye.